All right, so I've got a little circuit diagram here that I've drawn up on how I'm going to connect this meter. There's lots of different ways. The uh, meter itself, as you can see, has got a plus and minus right there on pin 1 and 2. And that needs to go from 12 to 32 volts. So with a golf cart, you can't just hook your 48 volts up to the meter. That's uh, It needs to be hooked up to uh, 12 volts. And we have a little 12 volt converter here that I put on the side of the box. Now, because I want to do a couple of different things, I'm also going to be using this meter to turn the charger off and on. So I've selected a double pole, double throw switch. That's a pole that's got six pins on it, a switch with six pins. And here's my diagram. The middle pin on these two is the part that goes across here, here, or here, or here depending on where you're switched. And if you have it in the middle position, then it's off. So we're feeding that with our 48 volts, goes in here, and either, and then we do a jumper from here to here, going somewhere. So if it's either up or down, either way, 48 volts is gonna come out of here, and it's gonna go into our DC to DC, which is gonna give us 12 volts output when this switch is on. It's also gonna go to the meter here, so that the meter will uh, read, and that's pin six. That's the, the voltage of the batteries that we want to see on pin six. And as you see on pin six on the meter, it will go up to 100 volts. If we're doing something with over 100 volts, then we use pin five. So there we go. We're pin six there. Uh, we are our DC to DC here and coming out of it is going to be 12 volts which that 12 volts is going to go to pin 1 and it's also of our meter which I just showed is the input power input for this meter uh, the other part of the 12 volts is going to come up here and when we have the switch in this position it will go through a light and then through a, a relay in the meter, 19 and 20 is our relay. And I picked those two on the relay on the meter because they are normally, normally open unless the meter is on. So there, so when the, when they when the relay inside is off, then our charger will be off. So I have it going through the light bulb so we can see that it's on, goes through the meter, and then out through the coil of the relay. Now this whole setup here cannot use more than uh, an amp. I think the relay is rated at three amps, but we don't want to overload the relay inside the meter. If you burn out the relay in the meter, you know, then you, so you, you, power this up through a small relay which you can then go to a big contactor on your charger or however you 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 want but the 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 coil of the relay 20 when the meter is happy and and engage these there'll be a connection between here and here the light will come on and if you're switched in this position you will charge now if you're switched in the other position that turns the charger off, and that way we're not running power through all these uh, relays, because we don't want to leave a relay on all the time or it'll drain down our, our batteries. Same thing with the meter in general. We'll, if you're not using it, you're going to put it in the neutral position so that the meter doesn't constantly drain down your, uh, your batteries. This meter, this meter will use uh, 100 milliamps so it's basically a watt and a half and you take that over a day period and you get about 30 watts so it's it's a little bit of power being consumed for sure uh, so you so yeah at that rate 100 amp hour battery if you're draining it down we might have this whole thing drained down in a uh, hundred days under best conditions all right, so that's our plan. Now we're going to go and and hook it up. The one thing that I haven't talked about 
in here is the on this side over here we have our shunt our our common and our and because we're using the shunt we're going to use the 75 millivolt so we're hooking up between 10 and 9 across that shunt that we installed in the vehicle so I'm going to talk just a little bit about that. I've got him already hooked up. And as you see, we have uh, one, only one connection from the battery to the shunt. And everything else is going to go on the other side of the shunt. Everything. So nothing on this side everything on this side the battery charger the controller everything 